Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you how you can make your tablet boot up like this with one simple app for people who are rooted. Okay, This app is called ROM Toolbox and it is I think $3 in the app store and it's not just you can change your boot animations, there's a free app for that but this handles it really well, it's kind of bundled in with a ton of other stuff you have all these different kinds of boot animations you can do like this one, it'll um, install it and then open up the zip so you can see it most of them are actually really cool there's some really good ones in here like if you're a big Doctor Who fan and the app also comes with font installer theme manager and theme chooser change the way your tablet looks and such I did it on my Droid Bionic to make it look like ice cream sandwich because I didn't get ice cream sandwich immediately and now that I have Jelly Bean I don't really do it much anymore but it was still nice when it did I have task manager, CPU controller you can choose how fast your computer goes I mean your tablet 1300 megahertz, 1200 megahertz change as you wish I don't suggest overclocking, I had done that before but it was very buggy when I did it. I overclocked it to like 1700 megahertz with the um, what was his name? Uh, it was some kind of kernel, I'm trying to remember what it was but what happened was is that it would be it wasn't made to be that fast and the tablet got hot and then when it got too hot, it would reboot and such, and it got really irritating. It also has a ROM manager. So all these different ones I can install. Smooth ROM, Paranoid ROM, Android. There was one person who was asking me, how do I install these? This is a very easy way to do this. You can also back up, like I just did a backup right here for through Team Win Recovery Project. And I call it awesome because, well, it's working awesome right now. Don't fix something that's not broken. I have experimented with ROMs before. You can flash different recoveries. Any one of these, like if your one needs an update, which looks like I'm on the latest. I'll have to double check. Um, you can also create a backup, which is really nice. And then you can also have wipe, wipe options. Uh, this feature alone makes the app worth $3. It has a root browser, which is nice, so you can uh, go through it. I just use ES File Manager because it, it seems to be a lot more simplified, but this can be nice for some people. It has a scripter for uh, you developers out there. A DNS changer blocks the ads from some apps. See, ad detector. And then... You can configure apps to SD, but there's no SD card on here. And then it has a rebooter, so you can go through all these different kinds of reboots. And I just think it's an all a nice night. It's really nice for those people who want to try to do different ROMs, such as myself. Um, I don't have any custom ROM on right now. I'm running um, stock, but when I do, I this app comes really handy because... I can just go back to where I was I, and it's just easy I can also do cloud backups which I just saw yeah cloud backups and you can log into like the, now all the things will be backed up to there instead which is really nice my SkyDrive has the most memory though so I don't use my Google Drive very much you guys have any of you have Hotmail or Outlook out there? Yeah, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But I think it's really nice the font installer for people who just want either bigger font or smaller font or whatever. You can try all these different fonts. You can also make some of your own. There you go. You see all these different fonts. And that'll wrap it up for today. Oh, also, stats bar icons. You can change the way your Wi-Fi thing looks or have it had say 3G or something. Which I think that is cool. Well, I will see you guys later. Um, sorry the video took a little while to make. 
I am working on another project right now, but I wanted to upload this video for you guys who have been waiting for a little bit. Um, I will have more videos coming out more frequently here soon. And thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.